Hi guys, I am here to do another cook with me video. This is going to be an instant pot recipe or a pressure cooker recipe for cheesy turkey burger macaroni. So first of course you need a pressure cooker. I don't have an instant pot, I have a Power XL pressure cooker. Um, and I'm gonna flip you around to show you the rest of the ingredients that you'll need. Okay, so there is ground turkey missing. It's just defrosting. You'll need a pound of ground turkey. I'm using just regular lean ground turkey, turkey not extra lean. Um, you'll need two cups of macaroni noodles, whatever kind of really, I don't know, noodle you want to use. You could use cavatappi or something like that. Um, you need a medium onion chopped. I don't have a full onion, so I'm just going to use the leftover onion that's in here. You need three cups of beef broth, a quarter cup of ketchup, a tablespoon of olive oil, and some spices. I can't remember <laughs> the exact teaspoon amounts. but um, So what you're going to do is the recipe says to put your olive oil in the pressure cooker on the saute setting and start browning your turkey in there. Um, so I'm going to take you over to my pressure cooker and see if we have that setting. I'm not sure. Okay, so this is my pressure cooker. I don't have a saute setting, so what I'm going to do is cook my turkey separately. Um, so I will use the tablespoon of olive oil and cook the turkey in a separate pan and then put all the ingredients in the pressure cooker. Be right back. Guys, how could it be cheesy macaroni without the cheese? Why didn't you tell me? So the recipe calls for eight ounces of Fontina shredded. I couldn't find Fontina in Walmart, so I just got this extra sharp white. It's the same amount of points per ounce, so that's why I went ahead and, and got this one. Um, how I figured that out was I looked up Fontina cheese in the app, and it said for one ounce it's four points. So I just went to the cheese section and decided what sounded good with macaroni and cheese. I thought a little white cheddar mac and cheese would be good. So I checked this in the app and it is four points for one ounce. So I'm gonna shred all of this up. My ground turkey is ready to go. So I'm gonna put that in the pressure cooker as well as my noodles, broth, ketchup, all my other things. My onion is chopped um, and then we'll get cooking. So I have all of the ingredients except for the cheese in here. I have three cups of beef broth, two cups of elbow macaroni, my white onion chopped. I have a quarter cup of ketchup, as well as quarter teaspoon of black pepper, half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of thyme. I am going to now put the lid on it and put it on manual for six minutes on high, is what the recipe says. And um, then we should be good to go. While that's cooking, I'm going to grate my cheese. So let's figure this out. I'm pretty new to the pressure cooker cooking life, so we'll see. To be safe, what I've done is chosen the rice risotto button. It auto populates for six minutes, um, but I did a time adjustment to eight minutes just to make sure that the pasta cooks because I've had some little bits of uncooked pasta before so um so we're gonna wait for this to pressurize and cook and in the meantime i'm gonna shred the cheese just finished so time oh, to release the pressure <laughs> all the pressure is released that's what it looks like and now i'm going to add my shredded white cheddar <laughs> and stir it up till it's nice and creamy. All served up. The serving size is one cup and it is nine points a serving based on the recipe. As always, I will link the original recipe down below. I will put the ingredients that I used down below. Um, and I hope it turns out well. I hope it tastes good. Remember to give this video a thumbs up and I will see you next time. Oh, and definitely let me know if you try it and how you like it. See ya.